So I hit live. So let's see. We could be live. Gonna go live. Here we go. Maybe. Hey guys, it's uh, Ted Bower. Today is Monday, and I'm with uh, the one and only Jerry Pazzini. Is that how you say it? Pizzini. Jerry Pazzini. How do you say it, Jerry? Pazzini. 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 Yes. And we are we are officially live. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I want to thank you guys for being. Um, I don't know, incredibly helpful like you always are. And so we are gonna do a jewelry show and I'm, I'm gonna, I will return in a minute. Just give me a second. There I am, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I like to look because you know, I wanna make sure this stuff is live because you never know, right? I mean, I, I could be not going live. Can you guys see me good? We're all good? Looks like it. Okay, as long as we're good, then I'm good. All right, so I'm gonna share this. Good morning, everybody who's saying good morning, by the way. I really appreciate it. You can keep, so everybody, while I'm, while I'm trying to fix technology side on my part, <laughs> this is the one and only Jerry GP Piz. Piz Hello. Uh, with the jewelry, we're gonna talk about jewelry. We're gonna have a fun kickoff to the crazy Monday and maybe get some, not just some hardness, but look at what creativity looks like when we're all kind of hunkered down during um, our quarantine days. So, so welcome to the show. Thank See, you. you can hear me. That means we're live. Yes. All right. Welcome to the show. I love you guys. You know, I love Alexa. You know, I love everything that you guys do. And so when I saw you post about your jewelry, all I could think about was, oh my God, I wonder if I can pull off a um, shopping network <laughs> looking show where we showcase somebody who actually creates beautiful pieces. And you know, Know, learn about the artist. So you were the first one who came to mind. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that makes me feel so good that you thought of me right away. Of course. You're always one of my favorites. You always support the TED show. You always support me. And so I want to give some supporting backs. So we're going to get into the jewelry in a little bit, but you've never been on the show, technically, right? You were just in the background. No. So, we so yeah. tell them Tell them a little bit about you. Give them a little background on you. People love origin story. Okay. Um, well, as Ted said, I'm Jerry Pizzini. I um, feature my jewelry on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, really, on the social medias, I've always featured it for fun to guide many of you to my art shows. Um, I never had a website until last night, so I'm excited about that. But about me, I've always been an artist. Um, Ted and I know each other from my um, involvement with my daughter, Alexa Weiss Houses. So I was fortunate enough to get to meet Ted live a few times at the studio. Uh, being that we're here, um, I'm super excited to do this right through the computers. I think that's a, a really neat thing. So. I've loved art my entire life. Uh, I grew up drawing as little as I can remember, painting, doing shows in high school, uh, going on to college with art and sales, my two very favorite things. And jewelry was kind of accidental. I started out um, cartooning out in Los Angeles. I moved back to the Midwest. Cartooning? Cartooning, yes. And you can't, you can't just jump over that. Tell me a little bit about the cartooning. <laughs> so I was always a cartoon artist. I was that girl in high school who would draw all the billboards and the little signs and anything, you know, everything from the prom to whatever, advertising, student council stuff. And when I, I moved at a young age out to LA for a while, and I got a part-time job with a, a timeshare company selling timeshare. But I did all their artwork. So then a company called Paradise Promotions hired me to do cartooning. And then I had a very brief gig with my own cartoon strip at the LA Times. You so, did? Oh, I didn't know that. I know, big claim to fame there, right? But that's, that is a, that's a, who else can say that? Not a lot of people. I don't people. think what, anybody what was, can say that. What was the, what was the focus? What was so, the focus of it? The focus was really funny about vacationing and cartooning and this promotion company was all about vacation packages. So one of the little characters I developed was a little guy that was always going on vacations. So it was real cute. He'd be on palm trees and a hammock and, you know, <laughs> all sorts of fun little, just it's something I love to do. It's something I love to do. I wanted to be a painter. I was a much better cartoonist. So that's kind of where the art started. And sure. how did the jewelry come about? So the jewelry, I say, is very accidental. I'm not even a girl that ever wore jewelry, but um, from the cartooning came art and drawing and working for um, my uh, father-in-law back in the day. 
we started a screen printing business and it was a way to make money. And I did all the art for that from cartoons to drawings to whatever. Well, somehow way too long a story for today, but I ended up doing things like the Sturgis motorcycle rally with my t-shirts. I, I did things like Daytona bike week. I would set up these um, booths with the t-shirts and I thought, Hey, everybody loves jewelry. So I ordered a bunch of jewelry and I mean the cheesy stuff like feather earrings <laughs> and skull rings and bone chokers kind of like that guy wears on the tiger king <laughs> oh yeah except you I have had, teeth thank god oh my gosh amen <laughs> I, I i still have all my teeth so <laughs> we took that to oh my gosh this jewelry is so ugly and i took it all apart and this was maybe in 1991 um and i thought i'd fix this or that but i ended up taking it all apart teaching myself how to string beads how to make beads how to make jewelry one thing led to another uh, long story short, I ended up just making all my own jewelry, going from the big festivals, the music festivals, the biker events, to little craft shows, and then on to bigger art shows. And now I'm pretty much only in juried art shows um, around wow. the country, and I do the big ones. So that's my story. So are you wearing a piece today? I am. You know, I, I, I didn't know that. I, well, I guess. I'm on the TED show. Ooh, the, uh, TED show. <laughs> Got to get a little plate you. glasses. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers right and i knew that i have to wear some of my own jewelry so i threw this piece together this morning because i was excited to match my top and be on your show using some vintage beautiful um check beads they're vintage 1940s and 50s i love those put it together with some crystals some swarovski um freshwater pearls and here i am modeling my own stuff it's so you know what i noticed it earlier and i meant to ask you before we went live and it just it left me, but as you were speaking, I could see it reflecting. It's it's a they're beautiful. Thank um, you. So but I I you know to me we made jewelry in camp, right? If you're ever <laughs> in a camp, you right. So the the fact that you have a talent to pull the different stones and the pieces together, uh, that's amazing. And the fact that it's got some what did you didn't say antique, you said vintage, yes, vintage vintage things involved. I just think that's such a cool creative process. So take them through a little bit about when you decide, like you had your outfit and you decided today, hey, I'm gonna put something together. How does that process work? Well, that's actually my favorite part about what I do because what normally happens is I gauge how I work and what kind of jewelry I make based on what the public wants. So the art shows I've been going to for years, uh, I choose colors based on as simple as, you know, what are the famous throw pillows? What are the colors for fall? What is the girls wearing anchor women on TV? What do my customers ask for? And then it's almost like I'm a little bit production-y where I'll lay out all those beads, lay out the crystals, lay what goes together, and I'll start making tons of them for the shows. What I like about this, this is me being super creative just for me. And, you know, with the social distancing and staying at home and being trapped in our homes and everything, I've actually made a whole bunch of sets for myself. When I do a custom piece for someone, they may give me the parameters. Oh, Jerry, I love your work. I want something in turquoise and brown. And what can you make me to match the picture of this top? And I'll just dig in my beads like a kid in a candy store and pull out all sorts of fun things. And I lay them on a giant tile and it looks really chaotic and disorganized, but it works for me. And I'll just be like, one, two, three. Oh, this is, this is it. And that's how I started today. I put on a pair of earrings and I'm like, oh, I need more bling for the TED show. So that's the it process. Looks, it looks beautiful. Thank you. It really looks beautiful. Thank I mean, I, I like it a lot. You know, it's funny because um, I think there are people that I've been to some of those shows and I see some of the quote unquote jewelry or art. Yeah. I want to make sure nobody's asking questions. I think a lot of people are, but I think I think um, Alexa's handling it. I, I've got Alexa handling it. I've got my awesome tech guy, Vinny, on there answering questions. I'm sure they got this. <laughs> yes, they got it. So, but it's not always attractive. Um, right, right. It, I mean, I, I can see that there was work, craftsmanship mm -hmm. in it, but it doesn't feel like um, there was a lot of work put in, into it. It almost feels like they threw together a whole bunch of things and there was no thought process as to right. why. Right. I'm sure there's tons of beautiful, wonderful artists out there, but the one thing I noticed about your, piece, oh. your pieces is that they all seem congruent, like it all, it all goes together a way that I wouldn't have envisioned, but you obviously have the vision to do it. 
Yes, thank you. I, you know, that's one thing I'm really proud of and I get complimented a lot from my customers. I've got a, a really big following. They, and I always call my jewelry whimsical and frivolous and it's maybe not something you need, but you want. It's bright, it's happy jewelry, it's cheerful colors, it's um, fun and affordable. And I mean, it's just, it's fun and affordable and who doesn't love that? Agreed. All right, so do you make uh, solely for women? Do you make men's jewelry too? What's I'm, your focus? Well, I mostly make it for women. Um, I do some things for kids as well, but mostly women, I've dabbled a little, little bit in men's jewelry. Every now and then I'll throw a little leather bracelet together. I featured one with a turtle last week. I sold out of those, um, but there's not a lot of, I guess my taste that would work for men. And um, right. since I make it all, I don't really, I don't do metal forging or anything. Um, so it's 90% it's women for sure. 90% women. All right, so you have pieces back there. That's really the, um, the ex I mean, there's so much exciting about the show, but I'm excited for you to showcase and tell us just a little bit of the story behind uh, the pieces that you have to show. And are these, before you start showing them, are all of these pieces available for sale? Yes, they will be. Uh -huh. so I, I, we we kind of got this together at the last minute. I've been, because of my the success of last weekend's live sale, which I, I think you saw me playing on, on Facebook with that. I loved it. I made a ton of jewelry and I tried to make a bunch of, again, my stuff's custom made, very similar pieces. So um, what I, I'm about to show you, I maybe have maybe 50 of each of these styles and we're gonna launch them officially next Friday, but I'm gonna sound like I'm on QVC now. For your viewers today. Nice, <laughs> for your viewers today. How is that, wait, the QVC, I'll, I'll, I'll drape it on my hand. You should. Um, we're, we're gonna put in the links where you can get just, I think I've got maybe six things they can sneak peek at. And then of course I'll um, pimp where we're gonna be next Friday and Saturday. Love it. Well. Perfect. Yeah. All right, so show, let's hear a little bit about it. Let's take okay. a look. Let's start with one. Um, I'm gonna pick up and show you guys one of my favorites. And this is by far one of my favorite things to make. I'm gonna get it close to the camera. I've got it doubled over and I'm gonna kind of zoom right in. Let me know y'all can see this. See all those beads? Yes. Okay, so this piece is a long necklace. Something you put around your neck, it's got a clasp to it that hangs really long. You can double it, you can even triple it. So you've got a choker, kind of like what I'm wearing today is also a long necklace. Um, this particular piece, I've got filled with Swarovski crystal. I've got freshwater pearls on it, some India beads that are from the 1950s, some seashells, get us a little beach feel. Um, metals, I do all mixed metals, uh, tons of vintage crystals from 1920s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. I love recycled stuff in my jewelry. Love so it. This what was the inspiration? Do you have inspiration so, for each piece? I kind of do for this one. I make a ton of these whenever I'm bored, whenever I want to do something fun and creative that I don't have to think a lot because I'm used to doing this. So I will have a pile of all these beads. Sometimes they're just leftover beads from like a custom thing I did. Sometimes I'll run across a solid necklace made with just this bead and I'll cut it up. And I know I'm gonna throw it on the pile for my, you know, mixed um, long wrap necklaces. Uh, I love them. I make them all multicolors because it's just fun. I don't have to think they are very abstract and eclectic. So it's soothing for me and calming. And my inspiration is really just, you know, keep me calm and, and creative. Calm is good. You know what else I noticed? And this is coming from a dude, but okay. I think that with that many, with the multi multi-color in there, I would imagine it would go yeah. with anything. Absolutely goes with anything. I tell everybody, feature my jewelry on your solid colors. So uh, nice. that's my favorite piece. Nice, I love that tagline. It's <laughs> yeah. so good. Oh my gosh, I did. Hashtag, wear my jewelry on your solid colors. <laughs> yes, something fun like that. It's perfect. Yeah, I love that. All right, I love that piece. So All right, this is available before Friday. Oh, okay. good, 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 good. And, and I think I see Lex, Lexi, she's doing everything. Lexi's is doing everything <laughs> right now. So I don't have to worry about that. Thank you very much Thank you, for Alexa. that. She's yes. responding. Um, yes. So I can focus solely on you. I love that. I love that. Thank you, Ted. Okay, I've got another one. Um, I'm going to hold this up and bring it close to the camera. This guy is tricolored metal. It's a uh, triple heart. And... It's simple, it's elegant, it's on a long black cord. 
gosh, I sound like I'm a QVC, but better You yet, do, you're perfect. Oh, right. It's not QVC, it's the Ted Show. Oh yeah, it's the Ted Show. Blinking again, <laughs> woo! Yeah, sure, it looks better on camera. <laughs> it does. So my long heart necklace is awesome. Uh, you can also double it to make it a choker. What I like about this and what inspired me really is I like hearts. I think our heart is a pretty big deal. I think that in this world we live in now and everything going on, what better thing to put out there than heart and heartfelt jewelry and yes. fun things with hearts on. So there's my, my heart. Love now. it. Yeah. Thank you. Love that. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next, why don't I show you, I'm going to show you three things. They're anklets and I'll hold them all up together. Kind of give you a close up there. They're anklets. These are anklets and um, I'll kind of show them to you one at a time. I've got a little peace sign, super cute. It's got the charm on it. They're adjustable. I'm going to show you the turtle. Um, we're big into saving the little sea animals and keeping them it. clean. So I love that one. Lastly, I'll show you the multicolored. I just, again, like my long necklaces, everything but the kitchen sink. Fun, lots of crystals, little leftover pieces. My anklets are by far seasonally my best selling piece of jewelry because they're affordable. Um, they're 10 bucks. I sell them for five when I'm on a show like this or when I'm doing some live videos, I promote them at $5. Uh, people like to wear them in layers. They buy one, they buy 10. I sell the most of those to stores and boutiques. And I, if, when anybody doesn't like jewelry, who doesn't love an anklet on your ankle? Well, you know what, you know what I want to say, and I know you have more to show, but one of the things that I'm getting from this, and I already knew it about you, but I want to say it out loud, oh. is that you're putting all, you're putting equal amount of love and creativity into each piece, regardless of the cost of the piece. And I think people uh, respond to that. I mean, that's such great energy, but you're putting it out there. So the anklets you have. You talked about them lovingly, like they were another one of your babies, which all your jewelry pieces are, I know. And so I love that. And I think that is such a great thing. You can't always see that when you just go to a website, but it's awesome to have the actual artist and creator on to talk about the pieces. So thank yes. you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. And it's true. I mean, sometimes I do pieces for galleries that are 500 to $1,500. And that's not something that I sell to the public uh, at the street fair. Um, people like to spend five to 20 bucks, but I don't use anything that's not real. I use all real gemstones, all vintage, all crystal, all sterling. I make sure my work is quality and super affordable because I don't think I could live with my work if it wasn't quality and super affordable. Knowing you, absolutely <laughs> not. I have to ask before you move to the next piece. Yes. Do you have an entire room of beads and jewelry making or, you know, people have shoe closets. Do you have a jewelry making area? I certainly do. In fact, um, I've got multiple areas. I've always had a studio. I've turned, well, down here in Florida is our second home. We live in two states. I've got a studio up north. I've got a studio down here. I have garage full of displays set up because I'm always changing out how I want the display to look when I'm live at a show. Um, I, my husband makes fun of me. He can't get out of bed without stepping on a bead and screaming <laughs> out in the middle of the night. The entire house is covered with beads from floor to ceiling sometimes, but I try to contain it in one room, walls of raw stones and beads and crystals. And I love it. Yeah, it's something to see. It. Yeah. All right. So what's next? Um, I've got just a few more things. Um, uh, let's talk earrings for a minute. That's probably right. my second best selling item. Like I said, I've got a pair on, a pair of the vintage. Um, it's really cool. Table cut glass out of Czechoslovakia. I love uh, those. I'll hold up another pair and I'm going to give you oh, a close up. Aren't they gorgeous? Czech table cut glass, 1950s. I don't have hardly any of these earrings left, so I probably shouldn't even be showing them. Uh, but I've got similars. I'm gonna show you that pair. Beautiful. This one's metals and mixed, thank you. Cool thing about my earrings, I'm doing a, a huge promotion Friday and Saturday on those and I'll, I'll tell your viewers about it. Um, they're, they're generally $10. I'm selling them for five bucks and they're quality and I'm doing an artist bag, um, which is something I've become a fan of when I shop art boutiques and fairs. When somebody says, you know, here's my special artist choice, my choice, I'll send you five pair for 20 bucks. So they have to let me pick. I let people have parameters. Would you like to say, give me some blues and oranges and pinks? I'll do that. So they'll That's put that so in the cool. comments. Yeah, it's super fun. And, and so many of my customers that have known me for years, 
they trust my judgment. They say to me, Jerry, you're the artist. You pick, pick your favorites. I love when that happens. That is the biggest compliment to me of all. Not someone walking by saying, oh, I love your stuff. It's when they say, I love your stuff, pick, up, pick me something. And men do it all the time. What can you pick for me, for my wife or my girlfriend? Right. Oh, good. Good yeah, point. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, what I would do. I love pick? that. No we'll idea. Talk, we'll talk after the show. Okay, we'll good. good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I have, but I love that because I feel like then if, if somebody would ask, well, the artist picked these out for me. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a cool thing. That's oh, great. yeah. I think so. Thank you. Um, I've got one last thing that I actually okay. brought over to give you a sneak peek. Um, and this one is a necklace. I'm going to hand hold it up here. It's got a the oval silver pendants. Hey, I'll do the QVC move on my hand. You should. Gorgeous. Ooh, QVC. <laughs> Here we have, I'll change my voice to the QVC voice. Um, <laughs> a beautiful silver ovals uh, with a very nice soft snake chain. Uh, this piece normally sells for, I think it's $30. I'm doing $15. Beautiful. Um, this is, I want to still say very artistic on my part. Simplistic and easy. Uh, something that I tried to I don't want to use the word copy, but I'm inspired by when they're not buying my beautiful baubles of fun and frivolity and multiple colored beads, some women just like a simple, classic, elegant look. And that's where this comes in. I just put a few metal charms together to make a beautiful, simple, classic piece. So I don't feel it's as artistic, but we all need stuff like this in our wardrobe too, to go with maybe. Our oh yeah. I can't, I can't always wear bling. That's what Stacey exactly. tells me. That's Sometimes true. I can't wear Paisley, you know, you have to, you have to have yeah, a classic look. Always wear Paisley. <laughs> well, I'm certainly it. challenging that for sure. Yeah, yes. Yeah. The Ted show. <laughs> Woo. Um, all right. So I know Alexa has been answering everyone. Obviously people can purchase what they can. She's posting everything. I'm not looking at it. Okay. Um, so good. I want to encourage people though, to reach out to you. Uh, to reach out to Alexa, to reach out to me, we will somehow, some way get you to Jerry and you can talk to her about uh, jewelry, which is, I mean, she's obviously an amazing, amazing guru at it. I have to ask you, uh, one of the things that's on everybody's mind, of course, is what's going on. How are you staying positive and creative uh, during this time? Um, you know, it's been surprisingly easier for me. I'm I do have all the beads at my disposal. I'm, I'm doing a lot. I got to give a shout out to Alexa buys houses while I'm here. We've been making the road signs for her business. We, we, we're also in the Airbnb business. We've been cleaning. Um, you know, the houses are empty right now. So we're cleaning away. We're looking at the positives of that. Um, I've taken some time to actually sit by my pool, which is a first. Usually I'm too busy, too busy, too busy. So what's really neat is despite you know the seriousness and everything going on in the world by staying home reflecting and um just taking some me time which is something that i just don't do a lot usually it's everybody else first um we're thinking of each other having more family time we're we're here together i live across the street from my daughter and um that's okay. been helpful um but really just a lot of thought where do i go from here and the kind of blessing in disguise is i now have a website uh, jewelrybygp.com. That's been in the last 24 hours. I'm now ramping up my live videos. I'm, I think, reaching out more and helping neighbors and, and being more thoughtful and uh, gratitude. It's changed us, right? I feel like even yeah. in a short amount of time, yes. whether it's a permanent change or not, I'm hoping it's majority permanent. We've yes. shifted, I feel like, as a whole. Everybody who comes on the show has shared something positive that it has done for them. Um, even though they've lost a job or they've lost art shows oh, or yeah. they've lost income, they're finding ways it's forced us in a crazy way to really think create creatively. Um, and so now Vinny's probably super happy because you, you're you going to get your website. Yes. Uh, you know, everybody, but those are the kinds of things that you don't slow down to do no. when we're all in the regular world, the old normal that we used to live. So. It's true. I absolutely love and adore you. I love Alexa. You guys are amazing. Thank you. So Jerry Pazzini Jewelry, which I tagged. Yeah. I tagged you personally. Alexa has been responding to this stuff, which is awesome. 
And of course, we'll continue to share the show. And if you have any jewelry needs, want to ask Jerry any kind of questions, want a signature piece made for you, yes. she's a lady. You want to reach out to her. She's amazing. And she's going to put just as much love and thought and creativity into her piece for you that she does with all of her pieces. Oh, so yeah. thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you we so did it. much. You're thank a you. joy. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. Love you both. We will see you guys later. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. you. Reach out to Jerry. Ted. Bye, Thanks, guys. Ted. Have a good one. You Have too. A Have a great day. Mwah. You too.